This is TJ with Robin Hood Coins, and today we're hunting a box of nickels from Wells Fargo and a box from Bank of America. I'm really excited about this hunt because my wife picked up these boxes from the same banks in downtown Fort Worth, Texas, where she got the penny boxes that we hunted a few nights ago. In case you missed it, we found 20 wheat cents in those two boxes, so I'm really hoping these boxes have some buffaloes and war nickels for my collection and something really good for the Robin Hood Coins giveaway for this video. As always, all you have to do is comment on the video and you'll be entered in the giveaway. Then we'll use a random comment picker to pick the winner. So let's get into the hunt. Alright, we're on roll 9 of the Wells Fargo box and we have our first oldie of the box. 1946. And it's a Denver Mint mark right there. Now over the past several rolls, we also had a 1958 uh, Denver we also had this really messed up uh, old red, I don't know if that's rust or what, but uh, 1959 Denver. And we had two S mints. We had a 1968S and a 1969S. That 69S is in pretty good condition. So that was kind of a cool, a cool little find. And we had three 2009s. Again, still on the hot streak of 2009s compared to my first several boxes where I was getting one per box. So that's our start to the box. All right, the very next roll, roll 10, we have another 1946. This time it's a Philadelphia. All right, let's keep going. All right, we are on roll 12, and I'm really hoping that that right there is a silver. It might not be, it looks a little bit red, so it might just be rust, but let's see. Maybe we get lucky. Wah, wah, wah. 2002. We're on roll 15 and we have another oldie. 1948. Let's see if we have a mint mark. And it is a Denver. 1948 Denver. That makes the third 40 of the box. And uh, over the past couple of rolls, we also had this 1952 San Francisco, which I remember from a previous hunt is uh, only 20 million minted. It's not a key date or a semi-key date, but it's still 20 million minted. And then we had this 1954S, and I already checked it. It's not the S over D, but uh, still nice to get an old 50s S mint mark. We also had a 1958 Denver. Put that up there. And then I just wanted to show you this. Check out this 1960. I looked at it under the scope, and it that you can see some steps. It's not full steps, but uh, you do see some steps, so it's going to definitely be a good one for the album. All right, guys. I am so excited. TJ left me in charge of, ro of looking through the rolls while he ran to Baskin Robbins for some ice cream. And I'm sure he thought I'd get nothing, but I think I got the best coin yet. I don't know, but I have a war nickel. 1945... Pardon my bad nails. There we go. Super excited. Can't wait for him to get home so I can show him. All right, we're on roll 40, and we have another oldie. It's not as old as the one that my wife got, but it's a 1949, and it's a Philadelphia. Gotta love that. Man, I really wish I was here to see her get that 1945. That would have been really cool to watch, just to see her expression and everything. But uh, still very cool. In the meantime, over the past several rolls, we had a 1957 Denver. We had two 1953s. And I believe one is a Denver and one is a Philadelphia. But yeah, two 1953s. We had a 1952. And this one is another S mint mark, so that's nice. All right, we're on roll 42, and I have a 1939. I haven't looked at the back yet. As you probably know, the, the Philadelphia has 120 million minted, and the other two, the Denver and the San Francisco, are less than 10. So let's see if we have a mint mark. Wah, wah, wah. Oh, well, it's still a 1939. It's an oldie. I will take it. I know, I figure I'm going to have go through a bunch of those before I finally get one with a mint mark. So we'll just keep going. All right, we're on roll 48, and we have a 1941 Philadelphia. Another oldie. 
And in the past several rolls, we also had this really nice 1969. Well, the front is better than the back. The steps you can't really see, but I, I ordered the girls uh, Whitman binders that you can only see the front of the coin. So this will be perfect for their Whitman binder, or at least one of the my daughters. And then there's this 1957 that we also found, Denver, in the past several rolls as well. All right, so last night we only finished one box, and this morning we're working on box two, and now I have my little helpers, and so she had to find on roll number five. And it is a 1940S mint. That's right, 1940S. I believe it's about 39 million minted, so it's a nice little coin. And then in the first couple of rolls, we also had this really nice looking 1959. And we had a 1941 Denver, but it's a pretty common one, so I didn't record it. I was waiting for some bigger finds. But uh, we're on the board. Oh, we also had a 2009. So we're on the board in the first couple of rolls, and we'll uh, show you what else we get. I'm on roll seven, and I found a 1948. And it's an S mint. Yeah, it's a good little find right there, 1948 S. And on the last roll, we had another 2009, as well as we had a 1955. And it did uh, Denver. I checked for the D over S, and it isn't that. So, uh, but still, nice little find, pretty good condition. So we're going to keep going. We're on roll 15, and I found a 1940 S mint. Yeah, that's right. Show them the 1940 again. That's right, 1940S. Nice little oldie right there. And over the past several rolls, we also had this 1958. Pretty rusted. That's going to probably go back. It's a Denver. And we had a 1952 Philadelphia. I don't know if we have that. I don't think we have that in first box. And then another 1954 Denver. And we'll have to check that for the uh, D over S. Uh, roll 28, and my little helper found an oldie. It is a 1946. Let's see the, the mint mark. And it is a Philadelphia. All right, but it's still an oldie. 60, 70 some odd years old. In addition to that 1946 that she found, we also had another 1946 Philadelphia. We had a 1949 Philadelphia. We had a 1954, and this time, instead of the Denver, it was a Philadelphia. Another 59, and a 1957, Denver. So we had a bunch of other oldies, but they're pretty common, so I was waiting until we had a, another 40s to talk about it. Yeah. Oh, and my wife just found another 1948, Philadelphia. All right, so we're on roll 45, and my wife handed me this 1939, and I haven't checked it yet. Please have a mint mark, and it's a Philadelphia. Well, in the last several rolls, we also had another 1948. I believe it was a Philadelphia, yep. And then we had another 1957 and a 1953. Double check if that had a mint mark as a Philadelphia. So, on a roll, got a couple more uh, rolls left. Hopefully we find something good. All right, we're on roll 48 and we had a couple more oldies to show you. In this roll, we got this 1949 Denver. So that's a nice little oldie right there. And um, the past couple of rolls, we had a 1954 San Francisco. Nice clean SS mint mark, so I'll have to check that under the scope. And a 1955 Denver mint mark. All right, Let's see what the last couple rolls hold for us. All right, so that wraps up the second box and we had an overall decent hunt. So we'll start off with the side finds. We had a total of 13 2009s. So we'll definitely throw one of those in for the Robin Hood coins giveaway for this video. And then we had a bunch of the 68, 69, and 70 S's, but check this one out. This is one that I thought was gonna definitely go in one of the girls' Whitman binder folders when they get here today from Amazon. And then we also had this 1960, really nice looking coin. So hopefully that'll go in the album, uh, 1960 Denver. If not, it'll go in one of the girls' uh, folders. 
All right, as far as the oldies, we'll start off with the 50s, and we had uh, four of the 1959 Denver, a 59 uh, Philadelphia, we had a 58 Denver, we had four 1957 Denvers, we had two of the 55 Denvers, which we checked for the D over S, and it's not, and then we had two of the 54 San Francisco's, and both of those are not the S over D. But uh, we'll keep checking. We also had a Philadelphia 54 and a Denver 54. And then up here we had two 1953 Philadelphias and a Denver 53. A Philadelphia 53 and two of those uh, 20 million minted San Francisco 1952s. So those were nice. And then we had two 1949 Philadelphias this 49 denver which is a nice little find and we had one of each of the 48s so we had two philadelphia a 1948 denver and a 1948 san francisco so that was cool we didn't have any 47s we did have three 46 phillies and a pretty worn 46 denver and we had, my wife found that 1945 San Francisco Mint War Nickel. I mean, on one hand, I was really excited because she found her first really good find, either Buffalo or War Nickel. On the other hand, I was slightly frustrated because I go for to Baskin Robbins for 10 minutes and uh, she gets the one, the best find of the two boxes. But it was still fun overall. We had a 1941 Philadelphia a 1941 Denver, and then we had two 1940 San Franciscos, so those are nice little oldies, man, 79 year old coin, great, and then we had two of the Philadelphia 1939s. All right, so the Robinhood Coins giveaway for this video is going to be these eight nickels. First off, we have a 2009 Denver, then we have this 1969 San Francisco, so a couple of the side finds. Then we had a 1939 Philadelphia, 1941 Philadelphia, and 46 Philadelphia. Then a 1959 Denver, and then the 1940 San Francisco. Nice little old 79-year-old coin right there. And to top it all off is the 1945 San Francisco War Nickel that my wife found. Uh, we already have several for the collection, and uh, it was the best find of the boxes, so I figured we'd throw that in there as well. Well, me and all my helpers really enjoyed that hunt. It was a lot of fun. We had a lot of good finds. If you enjoyed the video as much as we enjoyed the hunt, smash that like button. If you like our content and you like the videos, feel free to subscribe and uh, share with others if you like it as well. Ho hopefully we'll, we can grow the channel. We can do more giveaways and have a lot more fun and more videos. And until then, we will see you on the next hunt.